my namaskar and good morning to our psc sir today my sir kumar jambet ishi vtu 13810 standing in front of you to present my seminar based on the given topic pre president directives and macro definition and the second topic is pre defined user defined macro and <coughs> other directives and the last one is condition compilation so before going to the topic now you may be thinking what is a pre processor what is a macro and what is pre processor directives so now i like now i first going to the topic i would like to explain you them one by one by giving a simple definition about all these three first one is pre processor as you all know that it is a program that pre process the source program before compilation or we can say that the pre processor are the directives which give the instruction to the compiler to pre process the information before actual compilation starts as you all already know have seen has this includes directive in all the examples now going on to the second what is macro macro is used to include a header file into the source file now i like to explain about pre processor directive pre processor directives are line included in the program that begin with the character hash which makes them different from a typical source code text they are instead by the compiler to pre process same program from the compilation now further the pre processors are divided into three types it separates under the following directive directives the directives are has for the number one is file inclusion the second one is macro substitution and the last one is conditional inclusion now what you may be thinking what is a file inclusion it is nothing but it is used to include some file that uh, contains functions or same definitions now the second one is micro substitution macro substitution is nothing but it is used to define and use integer string or identify it in the source program the three forms of macros are further simple micro the second one argumental micro and the third one is netless micro what now you may be thinking that what is simple micro simple micro it is used to define some contents such as syntax has defined identifier or string or the integer further going on to this topic i would like to explain you about the argumental macro argumental macro it is nothing but it is used to define some complex form in the source program suppose syn dash column uh, hash define identifier bracket v1 dash v2 dash string etc the second one is nested macro nested macro is nothing but the macro is used by another macro is known as nested macro suppose define hash define a3 can be written as hash define square a to the power a it is used to in it uh, now the last one is about the conditional inclusion it is used to include some conditional statement suppose for example i like you to show the example that i have shown and uh, to this is the example of conditional <coughs> conditional inclusion so further on to this going to this topic i like you to explain about this more what is pre processor what is macro and what is pre processor directive in detail as you have seen that i have explained about the, the pre processor macro and uh, the pre processor directive this is now further uh, i would like to explain them in uh, detail so uh, now in mean many question many people may be thinking that what is actually a pre processor how does it work how matlab uh, uh, how can it work or something like that many question may be arriving into this bit so now i like to go in little deep and in detail so i have uh, some screen and scan of some uh, paragraphs which i have read it out in uh, google or fair from wherever i have got it so i have uh, just make a summary of it, it and now i like to explain it further so the first question is what is a pre processor <coughs> pre processor the job of the pre c pre processor is to process the source data before it passed to the compilation for example first the source code will be there after that the source code will be tested and then the pre processor will process after that in the in there will be intermediate code and at the last the compiler will compile all the data so the pre processor gets the source data has input and creates expanded expanded intermediate uh, source this expand source source that pass out to the compiler to the compilation the pre processor except the source code has input and is possible for the removing comments interrupting special pre processor directives and denote by h <coughs> one further 
the preprocessor can be leased out in various preprocessor additives. So now I'd like to explain them. The first one, the preprocessor offers similar features called preprocessor directives. Each of these preprocessor directives begin with the hash symbol. The directives can be placed anywhere in a program but generally placed at the beginning of a program. Flying, now I'd like to explain the preprocessor directive. First one is the preprocessor directive is macro expansion. The derivative is hash defined or hash UNDEF undef. The second one is file inclusion directive. It is, it is, it is, it directive is hash include. The third one is conditional directive. It is directive is hash FDEF, hash FNDEF, hash IF, hash ELSE, hash ELIF, hash ENDIF. And the last one is miscellaneous directive. This with directive are hash error, hash pragama. Uh, now, now uh, you may be thinking that I've explained about the preprocessor, but you may be thinking about what. So, what is a micro? Many questions may be arising in your mind. I'll explain with you an example. <clears throat> a micro is a fragment of code which has been given a name. Whenever the name is used, it is replaced by the contents of the micro. Further, you may define any valid identifier as a micro. Even if it is a C, the keyword, the preprocessor does not know anything about the keyword. In a micro substitution, an identifier in a program is replaced by a predefined string composed of one or more tokens. We can use the hash defined directive for this purpose. It is the following form. Suppose hash defined bracket identifier bracket token. The definition should start with the keyword has defined and has defined it is the most important thing in this macro and should follow by identifier and a token with at least one blank space between them. The token may be any text and identifier must be a valid C name. The preprocessor replace every occurrence of the identifier in the source code by the token. There are different forms of micro substitution and the most common form I would like to say is one is the simple micro substitution and the second one is argument micro substitution. Simple token replace is commonly used to define constant. So further going on to this topic, micro function provide faster program running speed of the program fragment. The preprocessor permits us to define more complex and more useful form of replacement. It takes the following form argument micro substitution hash defined identifier bracket token. The C source code below shows the appropriate use of micro function. Now further you may be thinking what is hash and def directive with this. So to explain in this in simple if I should explain, I would like to tell you that if you have created a micro definition, you can use hash and def to remove it. Hash and def directive causes a defined name to become undefined. This means the preprocess will no longer make any more text substitution associated with that word. A defined micro. A def this means the preprocessor will no longer make any more text substitution associated with that word. A defined macro can be undefined using the following statement hash under def identifier. For example, uh, hash under def value will cause the definition of value to be removed from the system. Undefined macro is useful when you want to restrict the definition only to a particular part of a program. Also, to change a definition, you must undef to undefine it and then use hash defined to reduce its C. C source code below shows the use of undef preprocessor. Further, moving on to this topic, I would like to explain you about the hash include directives. So, hash include directives is nothing but file integration directive causes one file to be included in another. We have already used file inclusion directive before. The preprocessor commands for the inclusion looks like this hash include double dash file name or else hash include bracket file space name if file name is included within angle brackets the file is searched for in the standard compiler include parts if the file name is enclosed with double quotes the search path is explained to include the current source directory if in case the file is missing or out not found compiler creates error also it is a general standard 
the header files are included in angle with user defined files are included in double quotes suppose we can write as hash include bracket stido studio h and hash include uh, double dash my file dot c <coughs> the 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 above statement in c will include the file stido.h and my file.c in the program following c sources code shows the uses of hash include preprocessor for the moving on this topic i like to explain you now about what is predefined macros used why is predefined macro used in c languages there are five predefined and in ansi c micros and always available to programmer for use has listed in the following template table they cannot be undefined every predefined micro name is defined with two underscores has prefix and suffix these micros are useful for finding the system information such as date time comma and file name and line number a program is isolated for testing these macros predefined macros in ansi are followed first one is the date second one is the time third one is the line fourth one is the file and third one is the stdc so further moving on this topic now i like to list out standard io predefined streams in stdio.h there are numerous library functions available for io within the stdio.h file this can be classified into three broad categories the first one is c o n s o l e i o functions functions to receive input from keyboard and write output to the vdu the second one is file i o file uh, i/o functions functions to perform i/o operations on floppy disk or hard disk the console high so are further divided into two the such one is first one is the formatted and the second one is unformatted in the formatted there are two uh, first one is scanf bracket and the second one is printf bracket in unformatted there are the following get get bracket put bracket getc get bracket get bracket put bracket get bracket puts private <coughs> Further, list out the predefined macros in C type dot H. <clears throat> the header file C type dot H also contains a set of macros. For an table file, list all the macros available in the C type dot H header files. The macros take argument of integer type and return an integer. The following are the macros. For example, I S A L P H I S is for bracket d i super bracket d i slower bracket d i digit uh, i side the digit bracket d the uh, is alpha is alpha is uh, known as to return zero value if d is a letter the i super will return zero value if d is a capital letter and the is slower will return the zero if d is a small letter and the last one is digit return a letter if digit d is a digit so <coughs> i i s element d bracket d is a let it will return zero if d is a letter or digit i x digit will return zero if d is a hexadecimal digit i space zero if d is a space i punk punch will is return zero if d is a punctuation symbol i spin will return a zero if d is a printable character i graph will return zero if d is a printable but not a space I screen T D S S T R T R bracket D will return a zero if D is a controller character, and the last one I sl I slowly will return a zero if D is a A S C I I code. Now further, the last topic is about comparing of micro and its function. What is a micro and what is a function? Now I like to give a basic, some few differences in both of these. Lots of you may be confusing in what is micro and what is function. Micro are just a text substitution tool, wherein function in C when one function makes call to another function, it is done in several steps which takes time such as saving of system space, stack loading, etc. Micro this increases size of your program, whereas the function this decreases size of your program. <coughs> Uh, micro but best efficiency and result is achieved from a macro when they are short and frequency use 
but in case of function, best efficiency and result is achieved from a function and they are long and complex. Micro, they are not executable, whereas function are executable tools. Now, for, <coughs> so this is uh, all what I have prepared uh, on the given basis of my seminar and I really thank my PhD for giving me such an opportunity to present and <coughs> upload in H3 YouTube. So, uh, all the knowledge which I gained, I shared in uh, this uh, small uh, this video. So, if uh, <coughs> further information, if I get, and uh, surely I will just uh, share you. And uh, sir, PhD sir, once again, very very thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.